Hi, my name is Christian, and here I'm going to show you how to use the nasal pharyngeal airway. Uh, the nasal pharyngeal airway is used to uh, secure the airway in an unconscious patient. Uh, it's a good device to use when you cannot get a pain airway using the OPA. Um, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to uh, insert the MPA, and then I'll explain that step by step. For the purpose of this uh, demo here, I'll be using the lubricant that's indicated for the mannequin. For actual patients, we'll be using mucogel or other similar product. And that's it, all right? So then I'll explain this step by step. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna size a proper MPA, all right? You wanna size it from the nares to the tragus. So you see here, that's the correct size. The other one is too small. It doesn't actually quite reach the tragus. So this is the indicated size for the mannequin. Um, you generally wanna go for the right nares first. It tends to be larger than the left one. Uh, with that being the case, with either, with either uh, nostril you're going for, you wanna ensure that the bevel is away from the septum, okay? So with the right, it's going this way, and for the left, you're, you're altering your technique by having it rotated in this direction. You're inserting it, you know, halfway, twist it over, normal curvature, like that, okay? Uh, contraindications for using an MPA is uh, when you suspect a possible uh, basal skull fracture. There's a slight risk that you can actually insert this into the cranium, which is very, very bad for a patient. And that's how you insert the nasal pharyngeal airway.